Hey, what's up? John Sonnevis here from simpleprogrammer.com. And yes, today I'm actually going to answer a question. Coding Dojo is a programming school that turns beginners into developers in only 14 weeks. If you're serious about landing a career in tech, but lack the formal education or background, Coding Dojo will get you there in no time. With over 3,000 graduates to date, over 90% of their grads land jobs within three months of graduating, often making over 70K per year at tech firms of all sizes, from companies like Google to local startups. To learn more, visit CodingDojo.com or click the link in the description below. This is from Booglish from Code the Web. I'm actually going to give his, his thing. I'll, I'll plug his, his, his blog a little bit since he's written this question a long time ago, probably. Uh, I run a web development tutorial blog at CodeTheWeb.blog. That's a pretty good, pretty good name. And I'm thinking of advertising learn to code websites like Code Academy or Code School as they would be a good fit for my audience. Their problem is they try to teach people programming as well, and I'm worried that by advertising them, readers will use those websites instead. Is it better for the long term not to advertise, but to build up a dedicated audience instead of losing people? Will I even lose people? What do you think? Okay, so obviously you can guess what I think because I just advertised someone else's blog on here. And so if I am I worried about competition? All right, so there's a couple of things to think about here. So first of all, let's start at the higher level principle, which is this, this principle of having an abundance or scarcity mindset. I've talked about this. I think I have a video on the abundance mindset or scarcity mindset. You can check that out, but I'll give you the quick overview of this. People either fall into one of these two categories generally, which means if you have an abundance mindset, you're like, hey, there's enough, there's enough grapes for everyone. I don't know why I said grapes, but just go with me, all right? So there's enough grapes for everyone. Let's just have a fucking grape orgy and we'll just all eat grapes. It'll be fun, all right? Because it doesn't matter how many grapes you eat, I can eat as many grapes as I want. We have some kind of grape paradise going on here, okay? The scarcity mindset is one that's like, um, yeah, I, you, I, I don't want to tell you where the grape tree is, the grape vine, the grape vine, the grape tree, uh, the grape tree is because I'm not sure if there's enough grapes on the vine for me. And what if you tell your buddies and then there's just not enough grapes. So I'm going to secretly eat these grapes over here. Hopefully no one sees when I sneak away to eat my grapes. I got this kind of grape stain on my face and my shirt. Well, you've been eating grapes, Joe? No, I don't know where there's any grapes. I don't know what you're talking about. The scarcity mindset is basically that it is basically thinking that there's not enough grapes for everyone. So you got to be careful and you got to guard your grapes carefully. Okay. Not so, so there's a couple things here. One is that you need to have the abundance mindset because one is that how fun is it to live in the scarcity mindset, right? How fun is it to like be hiding your grape eating habits from other people so they don't know about your secret grapes? It's not fun. It's not a good way to live. It's, it's just not pleasurable at all. It's much more fun to have a grape orgy, okay? It's much more fun to just have everybody happy. There's plenty of grapes for everyone to go around and to have that mindset. And when you have that abundance mindset, you'll find that there's plenty of grapes. And when you have the scarcity mindset, you'll find that there's not plenty of grapes. So from a mindset perspective, having the abundance mindset is a lot more effective and a lot more powerful and it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, okay? And I can tell you that there's plenty to go around, okay? There, there's plenty. So especially in the space, okay? So if you think about it, if you're a small blog, if you're starting up, if you're starting a small company, if you're not Apple and Google, now see, this is the thing. Arguably, Apple and Google they are actually competitors, right? And let's say in the mobile phone market, because if Apple gets more of a share of the mobile phone users, Google has to lose some, right? There's really no, I mean, there's new players coming into the market so they can both capitalize on that, but they're actually battling percentages head to head. If you have a blog, let, let's just take simple programmer because I'm bigger than you, okay? <laughs> Do I have any kind of percentage of the developer market? Is it even 0.1%? No. Okay, I don't even have 0.1%. Okay, if you ask a thousand developers who the fuck simple programmer is, you know, 999 of them are gonna say, I have no idea, and one of them will say, he's the man. This guy is fucking awesome. You gotta watch his videos. Okay, but that's how it is. All right, so 
And that means, in fact, it won't even be one, right? Maybe one in 10,000. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter though, because there's not enough, it, there's not enough competition there, right? If I gain someone that's following my blog, that's watching my videos, it doesn't mean that they're not going to follow and watch yours. You see what I'm saying? And so you don't have to be threatened, right? We need to cooperate at this level. See, at, at the, in fact, I would say even at the higher levels, cooperation is going to trump competition for the most part. Now, when you get way up there to the Apple level where you're a you know, multi-billion dollar company, then yes, let's not cooperate necessarily. I don't know. It might even still be a good strategy, but then I can see you viewing your competition with, uh, with some somewhat of a scarcity mindset, maybe in that case, worried about there not being enough grapes for everyone. Okay. That, that I could see, but at this level, at the level that we're playing at, at the level that you're playing at, if you're watching this, right. And even that I'm playing at, it's nothing. There's no competition. I'm going to, I'm going to consider everyone in this space to be my friend, right? Well, maybe they're not going to consider me to be their friend. Cause a lot of people don't, don't like what I say, but I don't care. <laughs> It doesn't matter. They're not my competition. If you if you have a blog, if you talk about programming, if you have a YouTube video and you talk about self-development and personal development, you're a fitness YouTuber, whatever, we're all friends. If you're an RSC person, we're all friends. We're good. We're not comp we're not competing. We're just helping each other, right? Because if I send you people and you send me people, right? And they, they, they there's there's plenty of people first of all, and there's plenty of time. People, just because someone buys your shit or reads your blog, doesn't mean they're not gonna read my blog or watch my videos, you see what I'm saying? So that's the mindset that you have to have. You don't have to worry about this stuff, you know, unless you have a real clear indicator, right? If you're in a very small market selling something and there's another competitor and you can actually measure the market share in tens of percentages. If you can actually measure it in tens of percentages, now you've got a competition environment. But up until then, you know, the, the world is wide and open and you should have this abundance mindset and you shouldn't worry. You shouldn't worry about sharing things. Again, on this channel, what kind of secrets do I keep? Do I, I, I tell you everything. I, I don't hide anything from you. I, I want to help you as much in your life as possible, even though you might say, oh, well, John, you should kind of keep your secrets and, and only sell those in your courses. No, I sell the courses in addition, right? In fact, the Complete Software Developer's Career Guide, right? which I have right here. Did you know that this entire book is free on my blog? Did you know that you can read every chapter from this book? Now, I added some stuff in the print version. I added some Hey John sections and obviously fixed a lot of, you know, revised some of the chapters and stuff, right? And in the audio version, I added some extra stuff. But generally, the general book itself, I released it chapter by chapter for free on my blog. Why? Because I don't have that scarcity mindset. I have the abundance mindset because I believe that even though you have this available on my blog, even though I'm making it free, you'll pay for it because you want to support me because you want to support Simple Programmer because you want to have a nice hard back or well, soft back version or you want to have a nice version on your Kindle that's organized for you and it's worth paying, you know, five bucks or 20 bucks for, for the print version, right? Because you, you're, right? Because I'm giving you value. And so if I'm giving you value and you're giving people value, don't worry. Don't worry about competitors. Don't worry about giving away your secrets. Just give, 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 okay? And give people as much value as possible and that's gonna give you success in life. And even if it doesn't, which it will, I promise you, uh, it's gonna make you feel better. It's so much better than being like, man, I gotta protect my grapes. Like, you don't wanna live your whole life trying to fucking protect your grapes. Give everyone your grapes, all right? <laughs> It doesn't mean you don't charge for things. It doesn't mean you don't make money. It doesn't mean you don't run the business, but it means that you, you don't, you don't worry. You don't worry about competitors. You don't worry about giving away your secrets. Instead, you just do what's going to be most valuable for your customer. That's how you build a real audience. That's how you build a real following. Right. And so th that's, that's, that's what I've learned about business. And it's so much of a better way to live, right? Even if it's not the most effective, you might say, well, that's not the most effective way to run a business. It's so much of a more pleasant way to live. And you know, you just have to believe in karma. If you do the right thing, if you treat people right, if you do good in your business and you still gotta have some business sense, that's gonna give you the biggest benefit. That's all I got for you today. If you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button below. Click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.